better, yeah, better, yeah, better, yeah, better, yeah, better, better than all of these niggas. Better, yeah, better, yeah, better, yeah, than all of these niggas. Better, yeah, better, yeah, better, yeah, better. I'ma be honest, I'm better than niggas. I'ma be honest while stacking my fingers. They want a the problem, then we get to solve it. We press it, they buttons control out the lead. I'm better, yeah, I'm better, yeah, I'm better, better than all better, these niggas. Yeah, better, yeah, I'm better, yeah, I'm better, yeah, I'm better. I think I'm better than niggas. She call me a narcissist. Yeah, I do not yeah. rap on a beat, I be walking it. Telling about it, but y'all really talking it. Making them lean back like a am walking it. I am the opposite of the broke niggas. They lay on their ass. I don't wear purses, but I'm in my bag. If you get in the way, then you might just get smacked, ho. Watch it get smacked, watch a white hoe get a flip, but I'm black She pop a hydro, she said it's for a back But she don't complain when I'm giving her back Shots for the camera Stay smoking pot, I'm a handler like a pen Y'all are damn amateurs, I'm the sand pan handlers Leave you niggas stranded She wanna see me at a show All night she been doing that blow Watching that hoe geek out Well, a bitch is just blowing that dope All my niggas move real militant In camera like G Thank you for your return subscriber. I miss you. Love you so much for always being consistent and supporting me. Thank you so much for those of you who are booking personal readings and taking advantage of that sale. I really, really, really do appreciate it. I do do tarot full time now and I'm not yet monetized. So my only source of income right now, house for my family, is through those orders. So I really do appreciate you guys who have booked and those of you guys who are subscribed, um, who have never missed a, a post, who always comment. I love you guys so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for continuously supporting me on my journey and watching my channel grow. Now, enough of that. Okay, I just wanted to give a special shout out to you guys. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Today, we're going to be covering the topic, your next relationship. We already did your future spouse, but that's more so like your end-all, be-all person. We don't know if the next person will be the end all be all or not we will see in today's reading today we have three pals of course pile one is with the erotic tarot deck i'll let you guys get a little bit look at that okay um for pile two you're gonna get the hip-hop oracle hip-hop queen oracle deck okay so that's pile two for pile three we have the mystic martian oracle deck now, i've already pre-selected the cards i didn't look at them i just put them inside the boxes so we'll go through everything together guys but go ahead and pause it and choose your pile because i don't have much time for this reading um and we will be pulling from um the Julissa's um playlist oracle message deck okay so we will pull a song before we open up you guys box it'll be real nice and i know we're gonna get all the tea in regards to what you need to know about your next relationship we're going to describe this person in great detail so you don't want to miss out on this so check me out in the description um, at the timestamp so I can see you at your pal, okay? And we're going to start off with pal one. All right, we're moving on. Hey, y'all. Sorry, I was seeing this one's off. So, we're going to start off with a song for you guys. By the way, I'm getting an energy surrounding, but this is a lot about, like, stylistic behavior. Some of you guys in next relationship could be with a Libra. Um, but I feel like this is going to be something that balances the scales. I feel like this is, like, a, a faded counterpart if you guys chose this. I also want to say that if you guys chose this pal, the sex is going to be absolutely amazing in this relationship between you and this person. Um, not only that, but you guys could also be, um, I'm getting some of you may, um, there might be third parties, but I don't know. I don't know. I get necessarily getting you like that. That will be something like some of you guys should be a polygamous connection. For those of you who are into that, don't click off if you that don't resonate with you. I'm just channeling off the box. But for others of you, this could be somebody that you start off dating with. This could be someone that you start off as a sneaky link with, and it progresses into more. And for others of you, I just get an energy that you guys would be um, sexually explored. I feel like this connection in itself um, will be something that opens up a lot. I feel like you'll try a lot in regards to the bedroom um in your next relationship so yeah let's see what is the vibe for my power one viewers to select the erotic tarot deck for their next relationship oh, okay came right on out so we have backstreet boy boys as long as you love me although the loneliness has always been a friend of mine i'm leaving my life in your hands people say i'm crazy that i am blind risking it all in a glance and how you got me blind is still a mystery. I can't get you out of my head. Don't care what's written all is history as long as you're here with me. So again, there's going to be a lot of passion. I also feel like, again, there's a lot of energy. Surround. I said third party, so it feels like that there's a lot of people who have opinions about your relationship. So that could just be the third party in itself, okay? Um, but I feel like you're going to be completely spinning with this person. And I feel like this person here is going to be someone that offers you a lot of support. They're going to understand you in a way that you feel like other people don't. So let's see your, you guys' tarot cards and what's in here okay let's lay everything out Something sticking in there. okay so i feel like this is gonna be somebody that's gonna be stuck on you or you're gonna be stuck on this person okay because that didn't want to come out the box all right let's see i guess i'll kind of leave this as like ooh, i like i kind of like that it kind of looks nice 
Can I see that? Let me see the king of that piece. All right, let me lay out the cards. Okay. So right away, I'm getting that this is going to be something that initially um, you may be hesitant to move towards. One of you, one or both of you is going to kind of be moving a little bit slow because I do feel like it's going to be an energy surrounding like this is going to be um, too good to be true. I am getting this is somebody who has a history. This is somebody that um, maybe has a history of being someone that um, just kind of gets around a little bit. This could be some. I feel like this person has brown eyes. They do have a really nice body, whoever this person is. There is an energy surrounding the... Um, Someone here needs to let their guard down. I do feel like that you're going to trigger this person and they're going to trigger you. This is a relationship where the two of you guys will be able to learn from one another. This person could be bow-legged as well. They could also have acne scars. This person could also be someone that has a nice body. They're very cute. They're very attractive. They're very beautiful. They're very sexy. This person that you're going to be in your next connection with. But I do feel like um, I'm hearing I get around. So this person here is somebody that is not... Um, Someone who is like they're not a version, I'll say that much. <laughs> they're not um someone who has an experienced life. This person could have brown hair. This person could also be the opposite race of you. Or this person could be biracial. I am getting energy. This person here could be someone privilege is really what's coming to mind. Um they're kind of showing me um an old friend of mine. So this person could name their command could be Michaela. Okay, or their name could be starting with the M. Um, for some of you, this person could be a Virgo. They do definitely not have to be. It's just that I'm picking up on someone that I used to be really close friends with. Um and her name was Michaela, and I'm kind of picking up on this energy here with certain things with this um rich card. She's not white, but she did have a really nice house. She was very privileged, her privilege in a sense to where her parents were very well off, and she was kind of sheltered. So, I do get energy surrounding this person, maybe someone that's sheltered. So, when they finally did break out into the real world, they could have kind of just went like berserk, right? I did the same thing, so it's no shade at all to her because I absolutely love her, even though we're not necessarily speaking. And I feel like that's the energy surrounding this connection. In regards to if this connection lasts or not, I feel like this is going to be somebody that you, if you do disconnect with this person, it's going to be someone that you disconnect with from love. I feel like this person is somebody that loves very deeply, but I feel like this is someone who has been appreciated in the past in their relationships. This is somebody that was maybe treated as a jump off, so they may have a lot of partners, but I don't feel like that was something that they wanted or they sought after. I just feel like this person, they wanted to see out me meaningful connections. But I do get an energy surrounding this person here. Someone, uh, they're very seductive. A lot of people want them. But there's a lot of things about everybody can't handle a bad bitch or a bad ninja, okay? This person could be very hairy as well. This person could be someone, I'm getting like Cherokee for a lot of you, okay? So let me see. I, I pulled some Cherokee cards about your relationship. We do have the Knight of Swords, okay? So I do get an energy surrounding this. A lot of it's, this situation is going to cause you to have a lot of faith. We do have it is safe for you to love here. I feel like there's an energy surrounding this person here. They're very they're very unique. They're going to want to experiment with a lot of things. As I mentioned earlier, and I do feel like there's a lot about come and get your own view about this person. Because, again, I do feel, oh, there's a Wheel of Fortune. I was getting that kind of with the solistic energy with the box. Okay, so this is somebody that you're fated to meet. This is like a soulmate of some sort, a karmic, or somebody, a karmic partner. Don't be, like, misled by the term karmic. I know that we get tangled up in all the time terms and things of that nature but karma just means that you have karma fulfilled in this relationship a twin flame and a soulmate is still a karmic type of relationship so don't get hung up on the titles i do feel like again there's energy surrounding there's going to be a lot like i feel like it's going to be slow to move okay so people are going to call you crazy because maybe this person isn't going to um be as expressive i do feel like this person could be someone that's guarded um one or both of you or once at least one person is connection there's going to be distrust on guardedness i do feel like there's going to be a, a sense of um and then he's holding a ball this person here may be um leaving a connection or they may kind of still have some lingering things from the past going on in a time in which you meet this particular individual this person could also be somebody that i feel like they're very strategic i feel like in your next relationship this would be somebody that um they hold back initially but this is somebody that's watching you they're very observant i do feel like this person will, is someone that um will give you the strength to act on your actions maybe you are the one that will have to um Make the first move in this relationship. I do get an energy surround this person here. They could be someone that just doesn't trust people. I feel like this person has been hurt a lot. They've been through the ringer. And I feel like this person, they, again, they love very deeply. They're very emotional. They're very sensitive. But this is somebody that's very guarded. How they express love could be something in regards to, like, they'll do things for you. Their love language may be gift-giving, acts of service, things of that nature. But communication and expression may not be their strong suit. Um, I do feel like there's a lot of energy. This person could be moving. At the time in which this artist, you may move into an area where you may meet this person, or this person could have been moving, or they're doing a lot in regards to transformation, transforming their life. Um, I do get an energy with this particular pal. I do feel like this person is a little, a little bit possessive, a little bit jealous hearted. Okay. Um, this could be somebody that you already know, but it definitely does not have to be. I just feel like this is somebody here who um, 
they you may feel like this person has played games with you before but i feel like there's an energy surrounding like you guys or in this energy you may feel this way when you meet this person like oh my god i feel like they're playing games with me with this athletic energy i feel like there's somebody that it's hot and cold, yes and no, in and out, up and down. But I feel like this person here, they are trying to make sure that they cover and protect themselves. I do feel like with this energy, with you, you guys being represented by Janelle Malay, this is going to be a connection that makes you um, surrender to the flow of life. You're going to learn what unconditional love means, okay? This is going to be something that grows and progresses over time. This is going to um, teach you... Um, even if you're a feminine, I feel like that you may take a masculine role and lead and protect... And like, direct this relationship and vice versa if you're a masculine you may take the feminine role in regards to not necessarily saying that you will be like a, a simp or a little bitch or that you would have to be like support or take care of a man or whatever case it be i'm not saying that i just feel like this connection is going to be something that is going to bring out a very different side of you and remember we all have feminine and masculine um, aspects within us all and i feel like this connection here is going to open up a lot in you in regards to teaching you how to be vulnerable teaching you how to express yourself and you're going to do the same for them so again this connection is going to be very triggersome but this is going to be something that makes you very happy i feel like there's going to be a lot of intricate pieces and with this chess game here I feel like honestly what's making it hard is that you guys are going to consult the opinions of others rather than consulting your feelings and emotions with each other. That could just be an energy. Uh, someone here, I'm hearing um, Out of My League by Tiana Taylor. So I want to you one of, one of both of you may feel this way and that could keep this connection at a standstill because it feels almost so too good to be true. We do have it is safe to love. So I do feel like again, it is not about the outcome or the end game. It's about the experience of this person. And this experience is worth having. Um, we do have religious factors. So your love life is influenced by a religious uh, and upbringing and a spiritual path so again this is somebody that was divinely guided into your life again that's a double confirmation um triple quadruple confirmation because we also have the will of fortune i picked up on it earlier we do have it is safe to love we also have triggering we all have heart to heart conversations and we have deception i was getting that someone is we have someone running a false mask in this relationship and heart to heart conversation so again although this person may be perceiving themselves to be not interested i feel like this is how this person protects themselves i feel like the mask is more so in regards to how they feel about you this person here they could act out and show you that they love you but their words could be different or sometimes they could be inconsistent but i feel like this is this person they could have um abandonment issues so they may try to protect themselves and control the narrative uh, by projecting their insecurities unknowingly so or isolating themselves because they are preparing themselves for an enemy they assume will happen to begin with not saying that, that is right or justified i'm not saying you should stay in love but this is saying this will be your next relationship so this will be someone that you will be very patient with i see you being the one that do um the heavy lifting and, and you, i feel you see you being very patient with this person i feel like this person is going to inspire you to do so and a lot of people are going to have opinions about it but this is something that i feel is going to be te teaching you a lot and you're going to open up a lot in this person i feel like you were primarily um Although this person was sent to your life to soften you, okay, and to give you, like, to be your muse in some sense, I do feel like you guys are natural caregivers. You're naturally very compassionate. You're someone who likes to take care of people, and I feel like this is somebody that needs to be taken care of, but in a different type of way. And they're going to present themselves as not needing support, but this person really needs you. Okay, so again, don't take their actions personally. It's not your battle. Forgive them and move on. And then we have believe their actions. So there's an energy surrounding here in this connection in your next relationship. The advice here is to not... I feel like communicate clearly what you want, hold this person accountable when need be, but don't take don't take on their projections as like reflections of who you are. It's not just your you thing. I feel like this person kind of shuts out on everybody. Um, that's just their way again of protecting themselves. So I do want to pull more cards about your next relationship, guys. See if I can get some more details. Tell me about how one's next relationship with the person. Um, well, tell me about their next relationship. Like, this is like the erotic tear deck. Tell me about what their next relationship would be like. We have the star card. It's supposed to be an upright. I have my deck upside down. So, the star card. So, again, it's a lot about idealistic um, ism. And even if it was in reverse, it's energy surrounding too good to be true, as I pitched up earlier. And we do have strength. There's a lot of holding back. I do feel like this person is going to be very much so mesmerized um, with the feminine. Okay. And that could be something. That's an energy. I feel like someone here is going to be called a simp. So, it could be that this person is behaving the same kind of way because their friends are discouraging them from moving a certain type of way towards you. And this could be somebody that's. You know, I feel like they don't have as strong of a backbone as you do. Okay, I do feel like in this connection, uh, either way it goes, both of you guys are very much so into each other. I feel like that you contain this person. It's almost like Beauty and the Beast. But this is going to be somebody even... Um, I feel like a lot of people could have casted this person out. They could have put a label on this person. But get to know them. Get your own version of this particular individual. What is the highest potential of this relationship between Power One and their next uh, person they're going to have their next connection with? The highest potential, okay... 
see this is the energy we have the king of pentacles but we also have the five of swords so this is the energy around this. this is something that's worth fighting i feel like this is going to be something again it's not going to be easy um getting this person to kind of open up but with the king of pentacles there's the potential for you guys possibly having a long-term connection this could be a very long standing relationship this is also somebody that um could invest in you in the long term vice versa this is going to be someone i feel like they want you it's they're a hard cookie to crack but once they're open i feel like they're all yours okay there's a season or it's like season old energy not saying this relationship is going to be seasonal but i feel like an energy surrounding this will be something that blossoms into something so much worse. it's worth the wait i feel like it's worth the investment but i also get with move on i wouldn't take things like i i feel like go with the flow don't force an outcome because i do feel like that there's an energy surrounding it's very slow moving in this relationship it's very very slow moving and at times it's going to feel like um it's not going to always feel like 50 50 this is almost reminding me of michelle obama and her relationship between her and obama she says for the first 10 years of my ma my marriage i didn't like obama i loved him but i didn't like him because he was somebody who was trying to be the president he was trying to be was going to school and all these other things for himself and at that point in his life he didn't know how to understand it but had she not waited those 10 years not saying you guys want to wait 10 years it feels like this relationship is going to be something again i'm hearing it all gets better in time so let me know what is the um what challenges may arise in this relationship between Kyle one and the person they're in their next connection with? Okay, that's a lot. What challenges may arise in their next relationship? Hey, well, it just seems like they're being uh, um, surrendering, okay? I feel like that you're going to be the first person this person falls in love with. And it's not the fall in love with, it's like a healthy love. This could be something that's very triggering. Maybe they, you're not the first person they feel in love with, but maybe you guys are going to fall for each other fairly quickly. Fairly fast, and I feel like someone here is going to want to pump the brakes. Okay, and don't take that personally. I feel like just follow this person's actions. If they're being disrespectful, hold them accountable and move away and move accordingly. But if this person is showing you they love you, but they kind of act, they pull back. Like they date you and then they take you out and they tell you all these beautiful things and they kind of pull back. Don't take that as, oh, I'm not getting that X, Y, and Z. This person here is just trying to get themselves together. Okay, um, what is the advice you have in this next relationship for my viewers like Kyle one? High priestess, trust your intuition, okay? And I feel like, again, there's going to be a lot of people who have, like, keep with your relationship private because I feel like the opinions of others could really um, tarnish, like, your perception of this particular individual, okay? So, will this person, let me get a card. Is this person a cheater? Okay. Is this person a cheater? Eight of Cups in the page of cups i wouldn't say this person is a cheater i just feel like this person here is just they um they they have not experienced a healthy or long term this person has probably never been in a long-term relationship or a healthy long-term relationship and i also feel like this person has been two times and i feel like this person could be just very lusty like very like sensual very sexually charged very sexually driven but in a relationship i don't feel like this person is someone that is um a cheater Okay, I do feel like this person here is going to be someone, a particular individual, that they may be um, non-monogamous, but I don't feel like they're a cheater. This person could have a different perception of romance or love than you do. Or this could be something that you guys share. Like Maybe this is a connection or a relationship where... Um, you guys have certain agreements. I do feel like this person has certain sexual desires that they're going to expect to be appeased. I don't feel like this person will be a cheater. Okay. Is this person a cheater for my Taiwan viewers? Okay. Let's see. We do have the devil card. They could have cheated on others other people though i feel like this person is very lusty they could be very tempting but i'm getting an energy starting this person here is someone i'm getting mainly for you guys with the other surrounding cards i don't feel like this person would be in a whole relationship while being in a whole relationship with you i do feel like they may be flirtatious so i feel like this person is very flirtatious and i feel like a lot of people want your person so um what warnings do you have for Kyle one in your next relationship okay we have the hermit we have the Page of Pentacles and we have the Queen of Wands. So don't um, neglect yourself and then the Six of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Put yourself first. Continue to put a solid to yourself. This is not an energy surrounding. I wouldn't wait on this person, but I wouldn't um, negate the love or the. Um, do your own thing. That's what I'm going to say. Put yourself on a pedestal. Make sure that you're satisfied. Make sure that you get what you want. Make sure that you're communicating your boundaries and make sure that you are. Because you're the one that's navigating this shit. Whether you realize or not you're in control of this relationship, I feel like with the hermit, um, during those periods of isolation, I don't feel like you should stop. Like, you're, 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 you're monkey, like one monkey shouldn't stop the show. That's how you're going to kind of, like, that's really the advice of this connection. I would be as 
Mm. This is one of those connections where it's going to expand your idea of what love to look like, what a relationship to be like. And I feel like this is going to be something where you're being called to not um, be jealous and don't put your whole life on hope for this particular individual. I'm not necessarily feeling like this is going to be your end all be all, but I just feel like this is where you guys can really kind of, there's energy for like an on and off energy for a very long time. It's going to be something that's going to be very hard for you to shake, but I feel like it's going to be very hard for them to shake as well. This is going to be like a slow burn if you guys want the situation with this person. Um, this is... It's, it's really like what you can expect that this person is a lot of like if you even if you guys do get into relationship you're wanting marriage that's going to come in a way 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 later like time so it's clearly about remaining confident being stern on your boundaries and if this person just can't give you what you need you can still love this person and disconnect and i do feel like this is going to be a connection that is going to be a catalyst for what you want or what you don't want in a relationship. This person or this connection is going to be something where it's like, it's going to teach you something, but I don't feel like that after it, you guys are going to be better. I feel like that you guys are going to end up being friends after this. I feel like with the Six of Wands being here, I feel like this is going to be something that makes you love yourself better, okay? Or it should. I feel like it's meant to teach you a lesson. I do feel like this is something that is going to eventually end. I do feel like at some point, you're going to get tired of waiting on a particular individual, and you should, okay? It's not really that big of a deal. It does seem like this person it has the potential to be someone that can love you very hard and be all you need, but it's, you you don't have to bank on potential. That's what I feel like they're advising you to do, is to kind of enjoy the experience with this person, but when you outrun this connection, be honest with yourself and move forward, okay? Don't stay longer than what you have to be, because it could, there is potential for this new to have children and all this other stuff and this could be very easily turned into i have kids with this person we're living together and this is we've been together umpteen years and you know where's my ring it could very well end up in a situation where it's like okay well 10 years married and i'm the one taking care of these kids like and you're chasing after your career like michelle obama now yes she did be reward she was rewarded when she waited i'm also seeing keisha kr with gucci may it's that type of energy surrounding like it will require a lot of patience, but you're not obligated to wait. And if you are going to wait, you're definitely not being called to put your life on hold. Like, please, with this Queen of Wands, be creative. Make sure that you find things to keep you busy. Don't put your life on hold behind this relationship, okay? So that's what I have for you guys. I love you guys to the moon and back and around on social media. So of course, be your reading. Please let me know if you like it down in the comment section. What you guys would like to see. More topics on my channel. Um, I know you guys want more 18 plus content for my... Um, I think Redbone, if you're watching this out, because I feel like you will be watching this out, let me know in the comment section. But I will be posting that, um, what to think about when fucking you video. I will. I'm just working on my 18 plus intro because I need to do something new for you guys. So, don't worry. If you guys want to know what sex will look like in your next relationship, go ahead and turn on the post notification so you don't miss out on that. I do have 18 plus content already up and available, but basically what I'm saying is... It's going to come in like later. It's probably going to be next week when I start posting some 18 plus content. So, anywho, that'll be your reading. I think I already said it already, but I'll say it again because that's how much I love you. I love you to the moon and back and around the whole social system. Obviously, this will be your reading. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Seeing supernatural numbers making me wonder On the list of all almost miracles, this counts as another If I go with Shauna Star, you think my wish will come true? If so, I'll pay all my dues, I'm trying to know the whole truth They say that karma's a bitch, I think she's just a really good judge I can't relate holding the liable just like a Libra Am I a little corny trying to find myself through my sign? Zodiac, Zen is this, y'all sleep triple Z I want my aura and my vibe to raise like a fade I'm cut different, it's the aftershade I'm seeing cycles in my spiral, now my rivals they get I'm trying to break the ring around just like you guys chose the hip-hop queen's oracle deck We are going to start off with a song from the playlist oracle to this is messages deck Okay, before we go, but right off I was listening to Pandora and the song that was playing before like even it came on again And I was like getting ready to set up for you guys as pal. It's X by Kiana Lade I think I said her name properly, but the song is here. It's like um, it's basically somebody from your past. It's gonna be somebody from your past that is like, I don't want to break up. Like, can we at least be cool? Can we talk? And then somehow, some way, they're gonna sneak and finagle themselves back into your life. So let's get a song. That's what I'm getting for you guys off rip. So let's get a song for you guys. What is the energy for Kyle Two? I do this is like the hip hop oracle deck, um, the hip hop police oracle deck. What is who's gonna be in the next relationship? What is that gonna be like? Tell me your vibe for the next relationship for my viewers to like Kyle Two. Oh wow, Adele. I told you it's an ex. Someone like you, Adele. This person could be a Libra or a Scorpio. I hate to turn up out of the blue, uninvited, but I hate can't find a. I couldn't stay away. I couldn't fight. I hope you see my face and that you reminded that for me it isn't over. 
I said it all wrong. Let me repeat it because I'm talking all over myself. Adele, never mind. I'll find someone like you at the um. That's the song. So I'd hate to turn up out of the blue uninvited, but I couldn't stay away. I couldn't fight it. And I hope that you see my face and that you be reminded that for me it isn't over. Okay, on the bottom of the deck, we have the weekend often. So I do feel like this is somebody that has been in and out your life for a bit. Okay, they have a tendency to be hot and cold on and off. But I feel like this person here, they try to replace you and to no avail. Okay, I'm also getting into this person here trying to give you space because this person knows that you're happy. This person may not feel like they're good enough for you, but this person here just... They don't want this to be the end of you guys' relationship, okay? This is something where this person's like, I just can't. Like, you may be, like, in a whole nother connection. Like, uh, or maybe now you're, like, talking to someone and it's not going well. Or maybe you're fresh out of something. Or maybe you're dating other people. And maybe what it is. This person just can't stand to see you with nobody else, okay? So let's look at you guys' cards. Ooh, la la. Okay. Came out really smooth and easy. Okay, so this is somebody that wants to kind of come in. They want to creep in really smooth. They don't want to, like, alarm you or frustrate you at all okay we have keep an open mind we have make the effort and we have soulmate so this is somebody that you have a very strong connection with as well you know this person to be someone that is like oh this person is trying to come every time i try to leave something keeps pulling me back me back telling me i need you in my life uh, it was meant to be it was meant for me so that means we gotta make it work yep um, lots of sexual chemistry, lots of passion, this connection. This person is going to inspire you. This person is going to make you get your shit together, okay? Or you could be this person like that. I feel like you guys mirror each other in this instance. I feel like you guys both feel this way. But I feel like this masculine is going to be... I feel like this masculine here, this connection, is very much so in admiration for the feminine. I feel like the feminine may come across a little bit annoyed um, a little bit in this connection initially. When you guys come, it's like the, they, the feminine may feel... That it's time for the masculine to make a bigger effort towards them, okay? I do get into, yes, this is your soulmate. So some of you guys are like, oh, am I tripping? Like, he got me tripping. Oh, stumbling. Oh, that's that type of energy. Some of you guys, you um, do something with regard to music. Or maybe this person here, you listen to a lot of songs. It's like, damn, I didn't even think of that person. Okay, I'm getting really chatty. Let me lay out the car. But it's like the energy surrounding. I feel like this person here, they're different than your usual type, and they also move different. It's like an injury. This connection has not gone the way you would have liked it to. With keep in mind, your soulmate may differ than your original type. We have two cards saying this person's a soulmate, and then here we have lovers energy. You could be a Gemini, or they could be a Gemini. Okay. Um, what sign is Lauren Hill? I think uh, Lauren Hill is a Libra, so this could definitely be like that type of connection. But either way, I feel like you guys are gonna be very compatible. Okay, I feel like this person is gonna balance you out. Or this relationship, and when, it, and when it comes in, it's going to balance you out. Someone here is really attracted to someone's breast or titties. Let's see. Um, I want to see Lauren Hill's Zodiac. Okay, I believe she's a Libra, but let's see. She's a Gemini. Okay, there's a strong energy surrounding a Gemini. She's actually a Gemini. This is a Gemini card with the Nagas. Some of you guys could be black because that sounds like niggas to me. Okay, if you're not black, don't say that word. I don't care. Spanish, no. If you're not black. African American, African black, black. Y'all know what black is. Okay, don't say it. But anywho, we have siren. So this song is very subjective. I feel like this connection itself is gonna be something weird. Um, I do feel like this person is gonna like. You may. I can hear your heart crying out for me. Okay, so there's energy around this person here. They're um, both of you guys are very creative. This connection is going to be something where a lot of people are going to be envious of your relationship because you guys are going to be like a power couple. And I know that's like, uh, I, it sounds cheesy, right? It sounds super fucking cheesy. But this person has gotten their shit together since the last time we spoke to them, okay? They've written a lot of things. They have notes about you and this person here. And this connection, you've gotten your shit together too. I feel like this is an energy where some people come around each other. It's like, ah, maybe right person, wrong timing. Maybe not even wrong timing, but this person here inspired you. Even if it was in a harsh way to get your shit together, maybe if it was to get away from them, okay? And vice versa. And I feel like this, now that his energy has been balanced and you guys have learned certain lessons, you guys are coming back together. And this is going to be a more, like, comfortable space for you all, okay? There's energy surrounding in this connection. I do feel like this person is going to give you a lot of gifts. I do feel like this person here is going to be someone that inspires you, but I also feel like this person is going to give you a lot of flowers. Like, they're going to make sure that you feel... Like, this person here, they're very complimentary. Uh, I feel like they're going to compliment you very well, but they're also going to compliment you a lot. Like, this person is going to be someone that also bigs you up. They're, they're very much so smitten with you. This relationship is going to be... It's a wish fulfillment of some sort. This is something that you wanted. I do feel like this potential for having children or being in a long-term relationship, that we have to love twice this is definitely a gemini okay we have the three of um 
what is this the three of swords and then we have the ten of swords so there's an ending of a, a new beginning it's like here this is something where i do feel like that um no i'm hearing no pain no gain so this is somebody um where in this connection this is something where um there there's a lot of on and off in this connection it has been i feel like in this connection when it comes back there's a lot of energy surrounding um this person here they could have jumped with you with a lot of options in the beginning but i do feel like in this connection this person gonna put you on the pedestal this person is also going to make sure that you don't do anything okay this person could also suffer from mental health issues so there's a lot of energy surrounding like healing from past heartbreak this person could have a lot of trauma from previous relationships but they love you very much so deeply okay here i feel like the masculine is very much so in deal with in, in love with the feminine but i'm not going to say the feminine is in love with the masculine because the feminine here is almost like it, the way you're feeling is how they're feeling but that could be very triggering and it's almost the energy surrounding like this connection is going to be something that makes you want to go harder and learn to, how to unlearn certain behavior this connection is going to be something that inspires you to want to be a better person and i also feel like this person here i feel like this queen of pentacles on one um, i love her because she got her own so both of you guys are going to be again it's giving power couple energy but the queen of um pinnacle that's giving like beyonce energy beyonce 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 so again we do know about the cheating scandal with jay-z and things of that nature so you guys may have an incident where something like that happens but it does seem like you guys get through it um i do feel like that this is something that you wanted this connection with this person it's just somebody that other people don't know why you like this person they may not be everyone else's type so say you guys are in the industry and this person is like has a natural body no shade has a natural body they have a normal job when you first meet them or maybe you guys just like a difference in status okay someone's younger someone's way older or someone's made one more established someone is coming up up and coming someone here is in the street someone here is spiritual someone here is um white someone here is black this person could have a skin condition this person could just be someone that a lot of people have casted away in society they are just different and unique i feel like this person is also someone that's very poetic they're very deep they're very artistic and that's the energy that's what's going to make the, you go deep in this person here they're going to trigger you with the three of swords i'm not necessarily getting like heartbreak there's too much positive energy here i'm not getting necessarily cheating i just feel like you guys are going to have some moments where when you guys are into it oh you guys are into it okay there is going to be energy surrounding like a little bit of upset like bitterness in regards to i'm upset that it took this long i'm upset that you know i have to experience all the time without you but it's going to be worth the wait all right i'm getting that this connection here could be something where i do feel like you guys are going to get married that's awkward. I feel like this connection is going to lead to marriage. I feel like it's going to be something where it's like a better of words. That's what I'm getting with the th uh, three of swords. The three, of, yeah, three of swords and the ten of swords. Because the ending is ready, new beginning. That's like the final like, finality of things. So this is like something where this connection is going to start off really good, really deep. And with the ending with the ten of swords, we'll see. I'll see like the high potential or the outcome of this connection. But I do feel like there's going to be some really, really high highs, and but the lows could be very, you know, they're going to be. Again, it's going to require effort. This is a soulmate of some sort. I will say that. We have balance in this connection is required. This connection um, needs the establishment of healthy boundaries. Boundary, excuse me. Maintain equal give and take for this relationship to work. Okay. We also have you can learn a lot from your partner. Take it how it resonates. So, yes, exactly. Spin the block. This is somebody from your past. I can't make it up. I can't make it up. We have oh yeah. I do feel like this person could be very reactive when they get pissed off. This person could that could be what the tennis was just like. Damn it. When you get pissed off, it's like this person could be someone I don't want to be together. That they could be used to like being mistreated or abused. So this person could be someone. I feel like this person here. Um, now I'm saying Beyonce again. When you love me, you when you hurt me, you hurt yourself. It's almost this person could also have a sibling that they look a lot like. They go very hard. I said I, I hear him, I go hard in the puff up pain. <laughs> I guess that type of energy. This person here is like someone that when they get to their score or they take it to the next level. But this is somebody that's going to profit off of it with all y'all. If you know, you know. This is divine feminine energy. But I'm also getting an energy surrounding this person who's very sensitive. Very, very sensitive. And they could go to a great length to try to get a, re uh, like a reaction out of you when upset. I'm thinking of Oba when I think that. But this oh yeah, this is actually like your first play. This is like the one that's going to take care of you. I feel like this person here is somebody that in the past, they could have like cooked you dinner or done a lot of things. Like sweet things for you. I'm hearing, whoa, sweet thing. Don't you know you my everything? Um, so this person can have like a lot of hair. This person can like to dye their hair like red, orange, brown, things of that nature. This person could be intuitive. They could be a tarot reader or something like that because they have a lot of discernment. Or this person just is naturally just, they have a good feeling, okay? Sincerity, this person is nice. I'm not getting this person as an asshole. We have upkeep. This person keeps themselves up. They're very, um, they take themselves very seriously. So they take everything very seriously. But I do feel like this is a connection where the masculine is going to teach the feminine to kind of lighten up a little bit. Because I do, it's like a why so serious type of energy. So someone here, 
can have a Joker tattoo or if it really likes a Joker. Um, but I just feel like in this connection, this is going to be something where with Maroon. Now I'm hearing Maroon 5 and I'm hearing she will be loved. This is like an energy surrounding like this person here. I don't feel like this person is going to be able to acknowledge the fact that you love them for who they are as is. They may be someone who has a lot of depression. That could be with the Ten of Swords and Three of um, Swords. Because with all this love, this is somebody that you could not ask for anything better. You want this person, this person has everything you need, but there could be an energy around this person could feel like they're cheating. They could feel insecure. They could feel inadequate. And that could be something that you guys are, um, this person could be very hard on themselves. And you could be very hard on yourself in this relationship because you could internalize that as, what could I do to be good enough? But this person here could just need therapy or something like that. This person here could be someone that's a healer. And because of that, they're always pouring with other people's cup. They could just not necessarily know how to ask for help, how to ask for support, things of that nature. This person could very much so struggle with that. They could struggle with expressing themselves. This person could be Asian, okay? Take it how it resonates. Or this could be someone who has, um, I feel like they meditate. For a lot of you, I feel like this person, they could have like Buddhist like um, home decor, like feng shui. They're into like feng shui and balancing things. They, 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 I feel like this person would want to be into yoga or they could benefit from yoga. I feel like this is going to be someone they could um, talk about they want to travel. I also feel like this is someone who family is a really big thing. This is somebody who was Asian showing up. I feel like this is someone that family is really big. This person is very respectful. They're very traditional as well. I'm also getting this is someone um, with the Asian card showing up. This is a particular individual who likes to make friends and they're very kind. Very, very kind, very polite, very loving. Um, but they could also just not know their own strength, okay? They could also be very blunt. So they don't need any heart. For some of you, this person has colored eyes, or you like the color of his eyes. For others of you, this person could be someone that likes to wear contacts. Or this person could be a little bit jealous, okay? We have another card indicating eyes. So this person's eyes are going to be something that really stands out to you. I feel like this person could also have acne a little bit. But I feel like that um, when it's showing up in reverse, I feel like this person, they break out. But I feel like it's, it's stress breakout. I don't feel like this person is someone that always is like bumpy, but they could. They could be. They could be someone who has acne, okay? Outbreaks and things of that nature. Be careful. Get this person tested because I heard I said outbreaks on accident. We do have lips. So I do feel like you're going to be very attracted to this person's face. This person could have big lips. They can have big, like really beautiful eyes. I, mean, I feel like this person has like really, really big eyes. Kind of like um, through the eyes of Leon. Like him. He, like really big, beautiful eyes. I'm trying to think of someone who else who has like really big like beautiful eyes that is like um like um that's universal check out that universal he has like really really big beautiful like brown mesmerizing eyes so it's that type of energy this person's just going to be someone that they can look into your soul <laughs> without even trying to okay so there's an energy surrounding this person here could be something Again, as an energy surround, I feel like you're going to be very hesitant to come towards this person. Because you're going to feel like this person upsets you. They build you up high just to let you back down. And the advice here is to take things slow when this person comes back around so they can prove that they are, you know... They can show you and um, release that baggage that you may have or that resentment that you may have from earlier, okay? So allow things to go, like, go with the flow because I do feel like there's potential for weddings or... Um, a high level commitment here, okay? We do have no need to be guarded. This person intends to do well by you. But we do have, remember how that love felt to you. Really stop going back to people, places, and things that upset you. So just make sure that you hold the person accountable when they return to make sure that there's checks and balances and this person is full of shit. Okay, so I do want to pull a couple more cards for you guys. Okay. Let me see. So, for how to mix relationships here, we need to know. Okay. Okay, come on. Let's get serious. <laughs> For power two's next relationship, what do they need to know? Don't make the first move. You've done enough. What is for you will never pass you by. So some of you guys already know this is like, oh my god, 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 oh my god. No. Pretend like you don't have feelings doesn't protect you from them. So there is an issue surrounding you. You're a little bit bitter with this car right here. Honor your emotions, but don't negate them and don't you miss a hundred percent of the chances that you do not take. You know? They want marriage and a family with you and only you. I told you. I told you. So that could be the three of swords and the ten of swords. It's like overcoming a heartbreak, overcoming the past, moving forward. Um, can you have this new beginning without... Yeah, and it's coming in fast. The person could be coming in very fast. They can have a really nice car too, or you could. Um, this person could be coming in very, very fast. And I feel like this person could be someone that could be all over the place, okay? But there is an energy... Um, 
with don't take on the projections of others. With just what I said, said now I look down. People treat you how they feel about themselves. Don't take on the projections. But don't be blind to red flags either. That's the energy that I'm getting. It's like there is an energy that's connected to working with quiet work, which makes the effort coming out earlier. But this is a soulmate, and we do have to keep it on the line. And there is potential for marriage because this person doesn't want that with you. Okay, is there anything else that you want my pal to do to know about their next relationship? You make the best decision that you could with the information you had at the time. Forgive. Forgive them and forgive yourself if you feel like you stay longer than what you should have when they weren't ready, okay? But just because they behave a certain kind of way doesn't mean that you were deserving of such or that it was your fault. Sometimes two people have to fall apart in order to realize how much they can fall back together. So that's the energy here. Sometimes people have to miss you in order to um, understand. Sometimes I'm hearing, um, don't know what you got to the zone. Janet Jackson. So it's a lot of emphasis around the siblings. This person could have a really big family. Okay, I feel like this person is very family oriented, okay? They could have humble beginnings here as well. Okay, they could have came from like a very small town. Maybe they come from poverty and they could have worked up. So there's a lot of energy around this person here could be, they could have been operating from this place of like scarcity because this person, they weren't raised off of love. They were very about the survival. So anything else you want to tell my thoughts and viewers? It won't feel like this forever. Tough times don't last. Tough people always do. So in the last cards that you guys have, we have, don't be misled. Them and the karmic are miserable. But alone, they can't help but think of you. So this person could currently be with someone else, and that could be why you're like, uh, 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 kid, X, Y, Z. This could, relationship could come about um, after someone breaks someone's heart, <laughs> okay? They could have to go through a heartbreak in order to be able to appreciate you. But we do have a special message from this person. Please forgive me for all I've said and done when I was at war with myself and projecting onto you. So that's what this person wants to say to you. Let's get a message. What's going to help the deck? Um, without truly loving yourself, you'd be just stuck chasing people who don't love you either. I feel like that's this person's energy. This person is someone that they didn't love themselves, so they were they couldn't receive the love that you were trying to give them initially. Okay, we also have, you're not too much. They were just not enough at the moment. So they have to get their shit together, but it will come back in time. And obviously, this is going to be something. This is your next relationship, if you want it. So obviously, yes, free will. That'll be your reading, guys. I do love you guys in the morning back and right on social system. Please consider booking a personal reading as they are available right now and running in sale. Where you can get two for the price of half of one. Ain't that a good ass deal? So go ahead and check out the link in the below in the description for the Etsy shop. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok because I want to be friends. Duh. So um, also, if you guys um, like this reading, please feel free to comment below. Okay? Because I that's how I know that you guys like my content. So I don't feel like I'm wasting my time if it resonates and uh, anything that you are in because i feel like you know this person if you resonate anything resonates that i said let me know in the comment section i do read all the comments it makes my day okay i love talking to you guys i love hearing from you guys but yeah that's what i have for you guys i love you guys to the movie back and around on social media reading bye Seeing supernatural numbers making me wonder On the list of all almost miracles, this counts as another If I go with Shauna Star, you think my wish will come true? If so, I'll pay all my dues, I'm trying to know the whole truth They say that karma's a bitch, I think she's just a really good judge I can't relate holding the liable just like a Libra Am I a little corny trying to thumb myself through my sign? Zodiac, Zen is this, y'all sleep triple Z I want my aura and my vibe to raise like a fade I'm cut different, this the aftershade I'm seeing cycles in my spiral, now my rivals they get I'm trying to break the ring around. Hey, what's up, pal? Three, you guys chose the Mystic Martian Oracle deck. Okay, so this is also my pal. So we'll see, honey. We'll see. Okay, before we get into some things, like I did with all the pals, we are going to pull the song from Genesis, the playlist, um, Oracle Genesis message deck. Okay, check her out on her YouTube channel. She's also um, a, a renowned tarot reader on the, in the YouTube community. Okay, she has lots of good on her um, website as well. So check her out. Shout out to her. Let's get a song surrounding the vibe and you guys' next relationship for my viewers to play Kyle 3. What is the vibe surrounding this next relationship for my viewers to play Kyle 3? Okay, we have <laughs> Neo Mad. So both of us are mad at nothing. Fighting for nothing, crying for nothing. Whoa, we won't let it go for nothing. No, not for nothing. This should be something to a love. Like, what we got, oh baby. I know sometimes it's going to rain, but baby, can we make up now? Because I can't sleep through the pain. Can't sleep through the pain. This is somebody that you're upset with. This is a reconciliation of some sort with someone from your past. Where I feel like you guys are having a, um, I feel like you guys are doing a contest right now where you're trying to perceive yourself to be over the other. Like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not depressed about you. And they're trying to make you feel like that they're not pressed about you. But both of you guys want each other. So. You guys are full of shit, okay? Um, 
I'm calling you out. <laughs> I'm calling your first one out. You know exactly who your next relationship will be with. And they know who their next relationship will be with, too. You guys are waiting for each other, but you guys feel like you um, You guys kind of get a reaction on each other. You guys are petty betty, and you guys are being very immature right now. Okay? <laughs> but this is somebody that you know, for sure, and I don't have to tell you. It's the motherfucker that you always come to my page for. It's them. It's the motherfucker that has you up at night, fantasizing about various scenarios about what life will be like between you and them. It's that motherfucker, okay? So let's see. Let's pull you guys' cards out. <laughs> yeah, this is somebody that could... This, I feel like this connection is like a spiritual connection. This is somebody that you feel nobody understands your guys' vibe the relationship. Like, nobody gets it. This is like my Martin and Gina type of pal, pal too. Because I'm getting... Gina, baby, please! That's what I'm getting with this pal right here. Okay, so let me pull out the cards for you guys. There's lots of attraction. You will have children with this person. Or children will be... Um, this person will have children and you guys will have children will be impacting this relationship. Um, I feel like you guys will have children together. Together, though. This connection is worth waiting for. So this is definitely somebody you know. Somebody you I'm attracted to, and they're very much so attracted to you. This connection here, I do feel like a lot of people have uh, advised you against it. So this connection is going to, for a lot of you guys, it's going to pull out a certain level of defiance in you. There is unconditional love and excitement here. This is the mutual energy between you guys. So there's unconditional love. This person here has a surprise for you. They want you. Um, I'm here giving you the best of me. We have divine feminine energy, birthing, and fertility. Yeah, you're going to get pregnant in your next relationship, or this person will be. Or you guys may adopt, things of that nature. We have mystery between the lives, intuition. So and this could be a connection where I feel like you guys have psychic. You guys are going to be psychically linked. You're going to like, this is the energy surrounding. Um, This person here could be a bad boy, bad girl, whatever the case may be. But this connection is going to be something that makes you go against... Um, what you're used to in love, things that you said you wouldn't do or you never would, this connection is going to open you up to do those things, okay? This connection is going to change or shift the way you have always lived, the way you've always done things, the way you've always seen love in your family. Uh, for a lot of you guys, you've never seen a healthy relationship. This is going to be something that's going to be defined in a way uh, where it's like yo-yo. This connection, I feel like you guys are going to always come back to each other, but I also feel like there's an energy surrounding like... um control okay i feel like this is the connection in regards to this is going to be something that requires skill it's going to require work and ethic but i do feel like this is going to be something that stands the test of time and i also feel like nobody's going to be able to tell you about your person either we have the three of cups so you guys are going to have a friendship above all okay we also have the four of ones you guys are going to get married oh and we have the nine of ones so this is going to be something that again you guys are, this is going to be something that you guys are going to both fight for this is going to be a relationship that you guys are going to fight it's going to be worth waiting for worth fighting for and i feel like at the end of the day you guys are going to honor the connection that you guys have in regards to French like this is my best friend if I was my best friend I want you around me all the time I want you around me all the time if that type of energy this is a connection where it feels very nostalgic feels very healing um this is going to be something where I feel like this person here is going to be someone that's going to love you um, in spite of the different changes, like, I feel like you're going to go through different body changes with this person. They are too. I feel like you guys are going to grow old to, with each other. With the nine of wands, that's given for better or for worse type of energy. We have reciprocity. Equal give and take is going to be in this relationship. So that's something that you can expect in this connection when it comes back around. There isn't going to be any like hot and coldness. There isn't going to be any bullshit or anything like that. Not saying bullshit in regards to you guys aren't going to have problems, but just the way you want to make this work, the person wants to make it work as well. Healing childhood wounds. Again, um, this is going to be something that makes you go deeper. And this is going to be something that you guys are going to work through and resolve a lot of problems. So that's very good. This is a very healthy connection that's coming towards you. There is a need for you to take a step back and evaluate your decisions and love. Be honest with yourself and make the necessary changes in your love life can benefit from removal of blockages. So you guys have some things that are triggering about you. And I do feel like this connection is going to pull those things out they're going to bring them awareness this is going to be a connection where you'll be very self-aware okay this person here is going to be someone that is going to trigger you um uh, much like pal too but i feel like in a different type of way where this is like some of you guys could have been drawn to pal too and pal three it's similar energy but this is more like more healthy i'm getting more so that this is like a more mature vibe i feel like this is um energy surrounding i'm here on the other side of the game i do feel like this connection is going to be something where you guys are just going to have a lot of your person is going to be someone that I feel like they're very fond of you. You guys are going to cuddle a lot, okay? There's a lot of energy surrounding, like, good sex. Good, 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 good sex. And I also feel like there's a lot of, like, fertility. Family, expanding. This connection is going to evolve into something so serious, so fucking fast, okay? We do have attraction twice. So, again, there's a lot of emphasis surrounding you attract what you think and who you are internally. But also we have you attract romantic love by enjoying the moment fully. So, there's a lot of energy surrounding, like... This connection 
it's going to cause you to defy like your shadow self. You're going to have to go against all those shadow thoughts and vice versa. I feel like this connection is going to pull something out of you. It's going to inspire you to want to keep going because it's, I feel like you've lost this person and vice versa. They've lost you. So you guys know what life is like without one another. So you guys have something to work for. This is something that you want. It is mutual, okay? But with attraction, this is going to be somebody that here is going to... Like you guys are going to constantly be falling in love with each other over in time, okay? It's like... um. You guys, this relationship is going to age like wine. It's very beautiful. We have to take a closer look. Make a responsible decision in love. So this is going to be something that is, again, you're not going to be able to respond, like to point the finger and say, oh, everything is about this person. It's your fault, your fault, fault. You guys are going to be after. It's like agreeing to disagree. Be irresponsible. Is there a, the argument for us to lose in their relationship? No. So I'm going to put on my big boy pants or my big girl panties. That's the energy that I'm getting here. I feel like this connection is going to be all grown up. Very mature. Okay. Very, very mature. And we have passion. So might I add that the sex is going to be off the fucking chain. This connection will make your heart throb. Okay. So this is really good. You also have this person here. could be somebody. I feel like your person runs their mouth. When I ask who this person is, we have snitch. This person could be someone. Uh, this person has faced jail time this person could have been an informant in the past but also with snitch i feel like this is gonna be somebody that may talk to their mother about you because earlier the stepmother card, card came out and i was like i gotta put this back because no one's gonna date their stepmother but this person here could be somebody that just kills your business a lot this could be somebody that just um for the most part when you guys have issues just know this person's gonna be someone that just kills people they could also be someone that have a platform um and they like to they they could communicate, they could use their life experiences and share them with the world. So with Snitch being here, I do feel like this person here is someone that can't hold water, okay? I also feel like this person here is someone that um, has vented to you about a lot of things. They they are just very expressive. This person could be an air sign, a fire sign. I have um, lots of fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, we also have water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, but I'm also getting Gemini because Gemini's are very chatty. And I'm, um, I did get cancer here. Cancers talk too fucking much as well. We also have um, gift of healing. I do feel like this person here is going to be someone that comes. And we have maturity. This person here is coming into your life. This is someone that they hold you accountable. And when you're not holding yourself accountable, they may tell your loved ones or your friends, like, oh, come and get your friend. Come and get you better get your friend. Almost like Martin was running his mouth about Gina. It's like that type of energy. I'm getting like a Martin and Gina type of vibe. But with the gift of healing, I feel like this person here, they have spiritual gifts. Okay, this person give you someone. I feel like this person here is going to be your confidant. I feel like this isn't somebody. I'm not getting more so a healer in regards to this person. I feel like they may be healing with other people. But I feel like this person, y'all connection is going to hit different. I feel like you guys are going to be able to heal each other, nurture one another. Okay, we also have charity. Okay, so this person is going to be someone. Hold on. With charity, this person here is going to be someone that's going to be very generous with you. We have expressive. This person is also going to be someone. They have a, like a really big personality. Okay, to describe this person, they can have fair skin. This person likes, I think they have a foot finish where they have pretty feet. This person could be someone that dresses like, they wear a lot of different styles. Okay, this person could dress very well, but they can know how to budget. Okay, in regards to how they sell. But they have a lot of clothes, I can tell you that much. Okay, um, we have... Or they can work fake designer. The wheel is turning your favor in this relationship. Being in a relationship ain't everything, but being in like one with is. This is going to be a very healthy connection for you guys. Give me one second and I'll be right back, okay? That's the front door and I also have to blow my nose. So <laughs> let me pull some more cards for you guys in regards to your next relationship. I want to pull more details because I'm fucking nosy. You know, so this is the last pal, but it's also my pal. So I want to know. I want to know. I want to know. Okay, so. We're going to pull some more cards from the um, erotic tarot deck. Okay. Again, I'm getting that the sex is going to be off the fucking chain. And it's connection between you and them. But again, it's a lot about like, yes, do we can, yes, because you can stand on your own doesn't mean that you want to be alone. From here, I don't want to die alone. No more sex and chances. I don't want to. It's that type of, uh, it's that type of energy. So, it's energy. Not saying it wouldn't be second chance. I'm getting more so energy where you guys are learning to release codependent attachments. But I also feel like this connection is going to be something more. Yes, you could move on. Yes, you could have different. Yes, you could have someone. But... This is something that I feel like is something that you want. It's something that is for you. The will is turning in your favor, though. So this is a wish fulfillment. And this is like divine timing. Divinely orchestrated. Okay, guys? So tell me about this next relationship with my pal three viewers. Okay. We have the Eight of Cups. I do feel like this is going to um, be something. It's going to require you to call, walk away from something or someone or something. I do want to do detailed Eight of Cups. I feel like this is more so in regards to like previous attachment styles previous ways of thinking yeah with the hangman and we also have the six of wands it's like ego death this connection is going to give you an ego death for sure okay this is going to be something it's like major energy this is like the one type of energy this is someone um it's like i love you so much that i, I you make only you could make me want to 
um, change myself for the better. Only you could inspire me to want to be a better person. Okay, so tell me more about this next relationship for my viewers. Okay, next relationship now. It's a ten of wands. I do feel like this song is it's going to require work. Okay, I'm also getting energy like this is like a, with the page of swords. Yes, I do feel like this is something where you guys may go to like counseling or you're going to be trying to um like communication could be difficult. Okay, like finding understanding how to communicate to one another and being understood could be something that's you guys struggle with. Okay, what is the challenges in this connection? What's the challenge of this connection between um pops three and the person doubling in the next connection? What will be the challenge in this connection for them? Okay, I feel like it's overcoming the past, getting through past heartbreaks. It's like um, moving forward after a period of separation, letting go, okay, and accepting this new beginning because we have the Three of Swords, we also have the Nine of Cups. This is something that you want, really. So it's like about releasing. Can you move forward? Do you, like, can, like when you have this new beginning, when you have it right in front of you, can you actually accept it? Can you actually move, like, allow the connection to go on something different can you release like past exes can you let go of like previous hurts and pains can you be the relationship but the person that this relationship requires tell me more about the three of swords what is like the block here in this connection for a copy next relationship we have a two of wands the lack of knowing wanting to be in control okay going with the flow is going to be something that's very difficult for you guys because this is a soulmate but you guys have a lot of like abandonment issues this is somebody that's very attractive as well and this could be somebody that has a lot of options but you have a lot of options as well so kind of like subsiding your insecurities could be something that's very difficult for you in this relationship because i do feel like your person is going to be someone that a lot of people want if i'm being honest they're going to get a lot of attraction and kind of like not being insecure is going to be something that you're going to struggle with in this relationship so what is the highest potential of this connection between my viewers and like three and the person they will be in their next relationship with what's the highest potential okay we have the magician it's what you it's what you make it okay what's the highest potential of this relationship press could be a gemini Okay, we have a seven of pentacles. Yes, it's what whatever you put in it is what you're gonna get out. It's like it's whatever you make it. It's like a positive this is a positive investment. It's not gonna be something where I feel like it's gonna fail or it's gonna be something that it, it's hurts. I feel like it's something that um you get in what you get out. This person here is reciprocity. That's what it is. We started off with that card, we started off with that energy, and they're definitely indicating that here. What do you want my power for you as Janelle in regards to this relationship? Okay. We have the Eight of Pentacles. So I do feel like continue to work on yourself and continue to um, exercise and express self-love towards yourself and continue to find new ways to express um, love and gratitude towards yourself. Continue to find different ways to love yourself so that when someone else comes in and loves you, it doesn't feel foreign, okay? So tell me more about the advice you may have for my viewers who like that three. We have the cherry. Go for it and invest. Like, don't God damn it, one one one. Okay, so this could be a twin flame connection that you're asking about or that we're picking up on because it's one 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 on the clock. Okay, and my camera just got interrupted. So, um, how soon could this connection be coming in for my viewers to make out three? Okay, we have the Queen of Cups, the Knight of Swords very soon. And we also have the moon. It's about divine timing for sure. I do feel like it's not about men, it's just just be just heal and focus on yourself right now is what they're saying don't worry about when it's going to come don't stress this isn't yes you're going to get this reward yes you're going to get exactly what you asked for but it's about just be patient and continue to work on yourself i do feel like that when you're very clear and you um about what you want is when it comes i feel like you're going to be in a state where you're going to be feeling more confident you're also going to be in a state where you're um you're also going to be loving yourself you're going to be very confident some of you guys you're also going to come together with this person um you're going to be very fertile. Some of you guys may get pregnant first before this relationship actually happens. Okay, so anything else that you want my top three viewers to know about their next relationship? Okay, we have the five of pentacles. Okay, tell me about that. Clarify the five of pentacles. And you have the ace of pentacles. Okay, so again, there's going to be a new beginning. There was a false start here in this connection. Don't worry, okay? Don't worry. Okay, so anything else that you have to add? Let me see. Let me pull. We have the King of Wands here uh, writing. I think you guys got the Queen of Wands somewhere earlier. What's behind it? 
the Queen of Pentacles. So there's a lot of energy surrounding. I feel like this person, they're very much so attracted to you. I don't know if you're insecure about your body with the moon card. This is something that they want you to work on because I feel like you perceive yourself to be like way more unattractive than what you are. You're very attractive, very sexy. And also I want you to know that this person here, they want to take care of you. Pure point blank. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay, let me see. Let me see. Let me get a love oracle for you guys. I did not pull this from, from this deck for any other pile. So I'm glad you pull extra cards for every pile. But I didn't I use different dark decks for everybody, okay? Let me guys let me know guys how you like this view. Excuse me, like the noise, sorry. But I'm gonna um pull one more card for you guys before I close shut it down. What else would you like my pile three viewers to know about this relationship that we have? Okay. So the sex is gonna be off the chain, like I said. I think I said that earlier. Was, was it child fair? I think so. We do have sexual union. Honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul. This could definitely start off as something where it's sexual, okay, and then it could lead into something more like committed, okay? I'm definitely getting that, so don't be alarmed if this person's like I feel like what you don't see coming, you guys may have sex with this person with the king of wands being the bottom of the day. This person has been like thinking about having sex with you for a very very fucking long time they've wanted this for a while okay if you could be anything or do anything what would it be the answer dwells in your heart not in your mind where the heart is the gateway to the soul so again your feelings for this person may differ from like what you feel that you should do or what you feel that um other people want you to do beware of what you're projecting for the qualities that you admire one another or qualities that you both possess equally so the qualities that you don't like are also within your reflection again i'm getting energy surrounding like a twin flame connection because this is exactly what i was picking up on you guys are mirroring each other so again it's just connection going to require an ego death because it's not right or wrong it's just new areas where you guys can find better ways to love each other and that's okay that's good balance love is not always about agreeing for the sake of it a great relationship is one that both supports and challenges and that's exactly what this relationship is going to do period Surrender. It's time to surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. We have power. You instinctively know what is right for you. And you have the power to walk away or say no at any time. So if you guys are scared to come back into this connection, um, and you feel like, oh, this person is going to have me feel X, Y, and Z. The last time they play games, you disconnected because they wasn't coming right. So just know that you can trust your judgment. You're not the same person. You've learned so much. And they've learned so much. You guys have like transcended and learned so many lessons. So this is a new beginning that you can wholeheartedly walk into without feeling any guilt. One more card from our viewers in Select Power 3. What do they need to know about the next connection? One more card for them. Okay. Keep an open mind. Yes, and we have soulmate. So yes, this is this is something in romantic feelings that this is something that is again they're emphasizing this is something that's worth waiting for it is something that you guys have asked for it is something yes it is your soulmate you're not tripping yes it's somebody that's meant to be on your path yes you should keep it open mind we have two cards your soulmate may differ between your um your different type you can definitely watch out too similar energy and yes this is your soulmate same card and we have romantic feelings your feelings are worth real and worth exploring so don't negate your emotions pretending that you don't have feelings does not make them disappear so obviously this will be your reading i love you guys and the back and run on so please book me for a personal reading right now i have a sale where you can get two readings for the price of half of one and it just don't get no better than that i do love you guys so so much um thank you guys so much for supporting me this is what i do full time so i appreciate those of you who continue to book personal readings thank you so much follow me on instagram and tiktok so we can meet and be friends i would love that i love you guys see the money back and around on social system bye Supernatural numbers making me wonder On the list of all miss miracles This counts as another If I go with Shauna Star, You think my wish will come true? If so, I'll pay all my dues I'm trying to know the whole truth They say that karma's a bitch I think she's just a really good judge I can't relate holding the liable Just like a Libra Am I a little corny Trying to find myself through my sign? Zodiac, Zen is this Y'all sleep, triple Z I want my aura and my vibe to raise Like a fade I'm cut different This the aftershade I'm seeing cycles in my spiral Now my rivals the gaze I'm trying to break the ring around just like I'm about to graze What's the play? Better days, now I'm feeling amazing Trying to learn a little gratefulness, the highest praise Yeah, this the humbling point, cause it's bigger than me This ain't the flip of a coin, this more a destiny I'm a little bit closer to my truths This the coming of age getting older I'll grow my youth, but never outgrow my roots Realize
stress, I ain't gotta stress, I do what I do Yeah, I'm a little bit closer to my truth I'm a little bit happier, I know the sun shines brighter I feel the weight on my back get lighter Ooh, somebody tell them I know I got that flame and that fire Who knew that breathing do so much for you? Like but the gray skies behind the clouds, sun still shines And one day all the skies will be blue just takes a little bit of time I'm trying to capture moments where I'm holding all these memories I'm keeping there for times where I go drop to low degrees In my mind, or I go pursue a nice degree Oh, that's fine, find a means for my life What I found is fuck fancy fits, I just need clarity True happiness inside, I'm alive with energy I just need that inner me to find an inner peace Now I'm out of bees, out of pocket, out of order Peace I'm a little bit closer to my truth this the coming of age getting older I'll grow my youth But never I'll grow my roots Realize I ain't gotta stress I do what I do Yeah, I'm a little bit closer To my truth